You know, I just... Find the writer director and stick these up his ass. Right up his ass. Cause he can't write for shit. He can't direct shit. This director, writer, talking about he wants to be John Carpenter. You ain't a fucking John Carpenter. You couldn't lift his shoes. You couldn't lift his ass. Okay, you're not Steve Carpenter. You're not the Carpenters. You're not even a fucking Carpenter. Because Carpenters can actually fucking build shit. You can't build suspense. You can't build plot. You can't build characters. You can't build common sense. You can't build a fucking a point. A, a goal. You can't find your fucking ass if you had two hands attached to it. Or if you had three arms and five kids to feed. This fucking director. This fucking movie. I, I seriously had to do something. I know it's a big ad. I had to do something because I would. I did not think I would be this pissed off. I figure, yeah, so, you know, the trailer looked really cheap. I didn't think it'd be so goddamn boring, so goddamn forgettable, and then what they do to certain characters, and how they just fuck. I, let me before, special shout out and thanks to Davey Vids. Davey Vids, if you're watching, I thank you for your kindness. He sent in a paid request for me to watch and review this film. Thank you so much. And if anyone wants to send in requests for pretty much anything... A review, a commentary, topic, a ranking, a list, a reaction, a re-review, randomness, out of blueness. You can send either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box under the video. Please feel free. Please feel free. That's the first and that's the last positive thing I'm going to say about it. Because Davy Vids is actually worth something. Unlike this piece of fucking bum fluff that I witnessed. When you got me saying... That the 2002 film is more Resident Evil as in a better fucking film. I shit you not, this is a better fucking film. And one of my issues with this is it's not like the game. So the dirt is, I'll go make it like the game. And he fucks it up. You had your chance to make a good Resident Evil film. You had your chance and you blew it. You blew it. Not only that, you blew dogs for quarters. You blew through the back wall of the fucking theater like a slut on prom night. Johan Roberts writing and directing. Oh, I did 47 meters down. Yeah, that's where your fucking talent belongs. Oh, great. An overrated movie with a stupid fucking ending. You know what? You should not direct or write anymore. The only thing you should direct is fucking traffic. But you probably fucked that up. Because you probably think red means go and green means stop. Yeah, stop as it stop making movies. This film is like you take Resident Evil 1 and 2, but it's the Cliff Notes version. And you cut out all the good parts. This is sincerely one of the worst films for me personally I have seen this year. Uh, it's, I mean, the only film it doesn't beat is a film called The Wet Ones, which is a two and a half hour someone's fucking daydream of... They play with dolls and try to make a movie for two and a half fucking hours. <clears throat> two and a half hours. That's the only one. Yes, I would put this worse as Space Jam 2. The Candyman remake. Because Candyman remake. I like the first Candyman. But, you know, the sequels have sucked. And that remake still sucks. It's still the worst Candyman film. Space Jam 2. I like Space Jam. Space Jam 2. I, kinda, I knew it would be really shitty. And it is. But I like the Resident Evil games. I grew up with them. And one of my issues with the Paul W.S. Wild Staley and Anderson movies were, were the fact that they were not like the games. There was some weird fan fiction. And I'm like, yes, please, finally. Okay, they're going to make a movie that's more like the games. 
I was for that. I was curious about that. I'm like, yes, cool. But this director made every bad decision in the book. It's dumbfounding. And he wrote the film too. Unlike the director, I actually did play these games growing up. This is the this is Resident Resident Evil 2. And I'm stumbling my words already. So this will be a long one. Bear with me. I had this game back to the day. When this first came out, this is the same one. That's why it's got a big crack on the back of it. Through thick and thin, from where I've moved, this has been with me. This is the game I played the most. And this took a shit on this game. Especially Leon fucking Kennedy. This guy here took the massive amount of dump that if this guy wants to think your carpenter, yeah, maybe he built an owl house where he took a shit on this. So not only do you make Leon a guy, you cast a guy who is like a British Indian guy, because yeah, that's Leon Kennedy. You know that that looks like him. Yep, definitely Leon Kennedy. But worse yet, you make this fucking guy a goofball, a fucking. Let's look what is an idealistic rookie cop. He burns with the need to protect and to serve, and life as a cadet was an eye-opening experience. While reckless and brash, Leon is certainly not as naive as his demeanor would suggest. He is highly qualified for his new job with the Raccoon Police Department. Hey, director, maybe you should have read this to know what the fuck the character was. Not some fucking guy that one of the first times we see him, he's sleeping in a fucking diner and Wester literally puts a ketchup bottle on his fucking head. And then Jill in the diner throws a toy gun at him. And, uh, 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 uh. and then someone comes up, Leon S. Kennedy, huh? S? What does the S stand for? Stupid? No, it stands for suck my dick, director. But he would fuck that up because he would use teeth. I don't give a fuck. Oh, if this riot director sees this, good. I hope he did offend it because I was offended watching your piece of shit movie. Because here's what also pisses me off. It's ruined now in the fact of, oh, the hopes and thoughts of doing a Resident Evil and Resident Evil 2 movie based on the games, it's ruined. Because now there's no novelty in, oh, what would the mansion look like and what would the police station look like in, in real life. No, you already did that and you made a shitty film. And it's going to have a bad reputation. It flopped at the box office. It flopped with critics. It flopped with fans. I don't know anybody who gave us a positive review. I'm sure there's some out there and to each their own. But I think the majority think this is a piece of fucking horse shit. For a number of reasons. Cheap jack horse shit. It's cheap as fuck. It looks like a made for sci-fi channel film with this uh, special effects and CG. It, I know I based on the trailer. But goddamn, there was an inkling of hope. I don't know why. Because I hate being cynical. Maybe there's a part of me. People say, you gotta stop being cynical, man. You gotta, you gotta stop being cynical. How can I be when they keep proving me right? Even when I did my, my tr uh, thought, I did a video, first impression on the trail. I made this is a bad first impression. But this was tenfold worse than I thought it would be. So it shows how naive I am. With how much studios fuck you in the ass. Put you in the camel clutch and make you humble. They keep fuck doing it. And we fall for like lemmings. Oh, we got fan service. Stick the fan service up your ass. We got Easter eggs. I'm not a goddamn Easter bunny. I don't need Easter eggs. Stick each one of them up your ass like an anal bead. Johan fuckwit. Johan Roberts. I want to be like John Carpenter. Fuck you for even mentioning his name in connotation with this piece of shit. Oh, you're going overboard. No, I'm going underboard. Because I want to sit here, sniff women's underwear. At least I'd be more suspenseful. 
than what the fuck I saw. 45 minutes of a 95 minute movie and nothing happens. 45 goddamn minutes, nothing happens. In a goddamn 95 minute movie. And then they rush the ending. This whole fucking film seems rushed. Before I get into specifics, if I'm supposed to name like the top five worst things in this. Number one, cheap jack horse shit. Like I said, uh, anything dealing with monsters you saw in the trailer. Because that's all the budget they had. The CG dog, the CG Birkin, which looked god awful. The CG liquor, and that's the only scene it's in. The CG semi truck flipping over. Which hell, the fucking video game looked more realistic. That that that's all you see. Well, we only had a you know what, if you didn't have the budget, don't make the fucking film. Don't make the fucking film until you get a good budget. How about them apples? Can you do that? That'd be called common sense. But fuck. They don't have that. In, that's illegal. And fucking Hollywood and Netflix. Fuck Netflix as well. I know I don't have Netflix. I watch it for free somewhere. I joined Jet fucking Sparrow. That's how. Number two, a rush job. They did the stupid, idiotic choice of combining the first two video games. Let's combine the first game and the second game and have this weird, convoluted, messy mishmash where you're at the mansion. Oh, now you're back to the police station. Now you're at the mansion. Oh, now you're under the, the police garage. Why? Why did they think this was a good decision? Oh, they go, well, there's not enough story. You're an idiot. You're a fucking moron director. I have seen people edit in an hour and 15, hour and 30 minute movie out of Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2. And you want to tell me there's no fucking story. Are you shitting my britches now? You know how you do Resident Evil 1 as a movie? By the way, I see this poster. You know how long it took for them to get to the planet and the aliens to show up? A long fucking time. Because they actually did stuff like uh, good story, good characters, good dialogue. Guess you don't like the cornbread either. But if you go, well, Matt, you're not expecting that in the Resident Evil film. Then have a B-movie energy charm fun to it, if that's the case. An adrenaline pumping ride of guns and creatures... Get a group of makeup effects who are not working to CGI took over everything and say, let's do Resident Evil. You do the liquor and you do some liquors and you do some creatures. And you do this and let's have a ball. And let's create just a fun B movie entertainment. Can't even do that either. Hell, it's take 15 minutes to establish Brad, uh, Victors, and Jill Valentine. Chris Redfield. You don't even have fucking Barry in this. It's funny. They say we don't have enough story. Well, you're taking characters and story out. But yet you say you don't have enough story. To make just one as a one game as a movie. You took out Barry. Fuck. If you did the first game. And you have the portions with Jill. And Barry. And then. Uh, oh hell. Like you'd have. And Chris. You have Barry and. You have Wester. I did 15, 20 minutes, build up the characters. They arrive at the mansion. You try to build suspense, look around the mansion, get to know the location, and then zombies pour out. One, then two, then three. You go through a hallway, then a bunch of fucking crows pop in, and you have a scene with crows, and then it gets crazier and crazier. What the fuck else is going to happen? Uh, the, the weird fucking snake things, the, the fucking lizard things. My brain is so diluted, I can't remember, and I should remember the fucking creature's names. God damn it. The li lizard things. I know, I'm such a diehard fan, and I can't remember the fucking names. This film killed my brain cells. Sorry. Which you don't even have those creatures in it. Which then came back in Resident Evil 3, and... 
Oh, God, just don't piss me off. I can't remember those fucking names. You don't even have those creatures in it. You don't have the bit snake, the shark. They joke about it where Jill in the diner is going, no, not in the diner, in the police station. <laughs> you know, what would you rather be killed by? Eaten by a giant snake or killed by a shark? Oh, you mean shit that we don't get to see to you too much of a cheap jack horse shit? Stuff that you could see and build up scenes with. But it's too bad you ain't worth a pot to piss in. And like the casting. Uh, the girl plays Claire I don't mind. I recognize the actress. She was in a film called Crawl. Which I liked. Alexander Aja directed it. A girl saving her dad against these. Uh, I always get them mixed up. Alligators, crocodiles. I always did it. The two mixed up. I shouldn't, but and uh, that's a film I enjoy. It came out a few years ago. She stars as Claire Redfield. She's doing the best she can. The guy who played Chris Redfield, I could take him or leave him, but he was barely a character in the fucking movie. Jill didn't felt like barely a character in the fucking movie. A little bit beginning, mentioned a Jill sandwich. Because we gotta get those fucking references in. Because that's number one priority. Not action. Not excitement. Not fun. Not anything worth the shit. Characters or plot or pacing. As long as you got the references, it's A-OK. That's why right, this director is a fucking idiot writing a piece of shit script. Let me put this reference. Let me, let me put a reference to Cold Veronica. Yeah, great, like we need more bullshit. You have an ending that's a rush job. This seems like a shitty fucking fan film. This was this is a glorified shitty fan film. I didn't use the cliff notes of Resident Evil 1 and 2, but take out all the good parts. You made Leon a fucking joke. A fucking joke. Anytime he turns around, someone is calling him an idiot. This is literally a fucking scene that I literally sh threw up my hands and go, you gotta be kidding me. Where Leon is sleeping at the police station, is at the front desk, he's listening to headphones, while the trucker, who's been bit, is driving, flips his semi-truck, the semi-truck explodes, Three feet in front of the police station doors. And Leon Kennedy doesn't hear it. Because he's got headphones on. And he's listening to Jennifer Page's song Crush. Look up Jennifer Page Crush. That fucking song. And then a zombie on fire. Walks into the police station. With this fucking song playing. As Leon just sits there sleeping. And then Chief Irons has to shoot it. And I sat there and went. This is a fucking parody. Only it's as funny as a morgue and as scary as a Three Stooges short. Jesus H. Christ on a pedestal of fucking bullshit. I'd rather stick this up my ass and then pull it out and drink it. Then watch this film ever the fuck again. I will not complain about this movie anymore. I still don't like the sequels of this movie. I don't. But this one, this first one, I won't complain about it anymore. That's what this fucking film did. So many things you took a shit on compared to this. This game alone could have made a good movie. Hell, why not do that? If you want to... I mean, there's so many things you could have done, man. It's, just, it's unbelievable. To get my head on straight, let me go step by step with the movie. So, Johan Roberts, Rowan directed it. Fuck him and his holes. He thinks he's John Carpenter because he's doing the text, the titles, in the John Carpenter text. Like, if you watch The Thing and They Live, that type of font... I'm like, get the fuck out of here, dude. The Zenith song, Breeze 13. It's not a state from New York. It's not even a state from L.A. So 
This is Steve from Sanity. So now we're in an orphanage. And the only reason there's an orphanage is because it was referenced in the Resident Evil 2 remake. And one little section where you play as a little girl Sherry. Again, you're smashing two games into one movie. And it's only an hour and 35 minutes. You have to pick and choose what you got to put into that story. And so they create this new shit about Chris and Claire Redfield as kids being in an orphanage. And they also meet this little weird girl named Lisa Trevor. Who seems like she's being experimented on but she's will just willy nilly among the fucking group for some reason. Not locked up somewhere near Madonna. I did 9 times out of 10 when he's in a movie you know it's shit. Great, he's in the first Captain America movie. Good. But then he's in 88 Minutes with Al Pacino. He's in Street Fighter The Legend of Kum Lee as Bison. He's in the Hitcher remake, which I called The Bitcher. If I think about the movie, I just bitch about it for 30 minutes. Because I love the original Hitcher with Rudger Howard from the 80s. The remake is one of the worst remakes I've ever seen. And Neil Madonna, Neil Madonna's is in that. He's in this movie. Again, nine times out of ten. It's a shitty movie. There's another example of that. And then Claire sees the girl, talk to her for 10 seconds, and then wakes up from a nightmare. And she's with the trucker, the trucker who gets the sandwich like the beginning of the Resident Evil 2 remake. He tries to make a move on Claire, accidentally hits a girl with the semi truck. By the time they realize, walked off, the zombie walked off. The truck has a dog, lit some of the blood, they go back in the truck. Claire fucks off. She's going into town to see her brother Chris. Sees her brother Chris. It's 1998 this takes place in. That's why there's a v VCR. Puts in a VHS tape. This guy Ben told her about what's going on with the water. And for some reason, Chris Redfield oh, doesn't, doesn't think anything of it. Because the characters have to be fucking stupid in this movie. And let me jump ahead. This whole Lisa Trevor thing did not need to be in this fucking movie. Because in the Resident Evil 1 remake, this was a character that popped up like three times... I think the first time you're in this little cabin outside of the mansion, this little shed, and then it came from underground. It was this woman who had like a sad backstory and uh, then popped up a second time where you're underground and you can't kill her. You're chased around. And then the third time in a scene where Barry could die, you have to like get these chains and like it sees her mother and like commit suicide. And then you're like, you were then supposed to realize, oh, that was the little girl growing up. It's like this little sub... It's a subplot. And none of that is in this movie. I mean, she pops up like two times. The first time is that, f that little flashback at the beginning. The second time is just there to give a fucking tea and kill a, the liquor. Because Leon doesn't kill the liquor. Because he's a pussy. Claire doesn't even kill the liquor. This Lisa has to kill the liquor. And does it with her hands. Because she's wearing the stuff that's in the Resident Evil 1 remake. Chokes the, she chokes and fucks up a liquor. That makes the liquor a pussy. It makes Claire and Leon useless. They didn't fucking even deal with the liquor. And then you never see this Lisa Trevor character again. Because at the end, the whole town got blown to kingdom come. So I guess, did she die? Could they not bring her along? Did she want to die? Did she, she probably didn't know. Because I don't think by that time, Leon and, and Claire knew that the town was going to get blown up. Was there any thought, wait, let's go back for her? Nope. As soon as the, she's out, the movie forgets about it. 
as if selective amnesia. And maybe go, then why the fuck is she in there? Oh, fan service. But the bad kind of fan service. That you go, why is she here? And why is she just wandering around and no one gives a shit? And the movie doesn't explain why she's wearing this shit on her face. The movie doesn't explain much of that. Just all the, they were experimenting on people. Like, why does she wear that? Why is she in chains? Why doesn't Claire help her get out of these fucking chains? Why doesn't she go with Claire? Why don't they go back to get Lisa Trevor? None of this fucking talked about because the director and writer, the same guy's a fucking idiot. So again, in the film, you have this orphanage, which you didn't need that in this movie. You have... Claire and the stupid truck driver, they go into town, hit a person, uh, she goes off to see her brother, show, shows him the tape, he doesn't believe her for some dumb reason, um, then goes off to the police station with Jill, meanwhile at a diner, Jill and Wester, Wester puts a ketchup bottle on Leon Kennedy sleeping. That's not the first time we see him. The first time we see Leon, he wakes up. He's like... Uh, uh, uh. What? He doesn't look like Leon. He doesn't act like Leon. He doesn't sound like Leon. And they make his character such a fucking ridiculous, stupid joke. And I, what the director was trying to do is... Well, yeah, he's such a joke and no one takes him seriously. But spoiler alert, he just killed the main bad guy with a bazooka. So see... The one guy no one expected. I'm like, that's not the way to portray Leon Kennedy, man. You thought this people would like that 90% of the film? He kills maybe one zombie? Maybe two? Is a joke made fun of by every character? Pretty much every character makes fun of Leon Kennedy. Chief Irons pretty much tells him, What are you doing here? I, I just... So he's sleeping. Wester puts a ketchup bottle as he's sleeping. Doesn't know there's a ketchup bottle on his head. And then tells Jill, because she has a toy gun, uh, here's some money if you shoot him. So she shoots Wester with a dart, like a rubber, then throws the at Leon's head. <laughs> At the end, you have more fan service. I took the sandwich from Wester. Oh, it's a Jill sandwich now. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, and, but you don't have Barry. You know, one of the main characters of the first game? Fuck if I know. Oh, and more goofing on Leon Kennedy. Apparently, he's a shitty cop. He's a rookie cop, but he's shitty because... During training, he shot his partner in the ass. Really? Johan Roberts. He burns with the need to protect and to serve, and life as a kid Experience. While reckless and brash, Leon is certainly not as naive as demeanor would suggest. He is highly qualified for his new job. Here, he shot his partner in the ass during training, and he has his dad or his uncle had connections and got him a job here. This director is a fucking moron. He's a fucking she tarred. Jesus Christ. And then another cop. What does the S and Leon S. Teddy stand for? Stupid? No, it's Sup by Cot Director. That's what it stands for. So, apparently, the, the virus was in the water system. Why was it in the water system? I guess to experiment on an entire town. But there's really no explanation. Like even in the games they explain. 
in in this fucking game that soldiers tried to kill Birkin. He got shot up. Some of the shit fell. It, the rats ate it up. And the rats spread it among the city. Not here. Apparently they just released it for some no fucking reason into the water supply. And then they only gave certain people pills so they wouldn't get sick. And you only know this because Ben in a jail cell tells Leon this at a very rushed explanation. And you could pick the fucking plot till the cows come home. I ain't doing that because I got so much other shit to talk about. And Jill and Chris, they're at the police station, along with Wester. And again, the casting in this film. Claire, I don't mind. Chris, I could take her or leave it. Jill, why the fuck did they cast this girl as Jill? I did. she barely does anything. She, she doesn't really make much of an impression. But... She doesn't look like Jill. She doesn't sound like Jill. She doesn't act like Jill. She's not a badass like Jill. Hell, she has no ass like Jill. You cast a Jill Valentine with no ass. And is not a badass. So you fail on all fronts. Oh, it's the girl that played Ghost. The villain, but not a villain. And Ant-Man the Wasp. One of the Marvel films that no one fucking remembers existed. Oh, great fucking casting. But the... Le Wester... <sighs> if you didn't tell me that was Wester, I wouldn't have fucking known. And then, uh, what was the... Fu Leon Tandy, again, they... T why they cast this guy? Like, just his hair... And I, I didn't know Leon Tandy was Indian... First time I knew that, that was a... Man, I, I didn't know any time I played Leon Kennedy that he was... I didn't know this guy was an Indian guy. But, I mean, th the worst part is how they write the character. Did you know what? That's what I said. If I didn't say it, it's what I thought. If you make the character well in terms of writing, I could deal with it. I really could. Case in point, Teen Pin. A lot of people make fun of the 2003 Daredevil film. But you know what? Michael Clark Duncan as Teen Pin was pretty fucking cool. Because Teen Pin's white in the comics. But Michael Clark Duncan, he was pretty badass, I think, as Teen Pin. I think he worked well. I think if you get the right actor and you do a good enough job, and they're that team pin you you felt forceful and intimidating and strong and he did Michael Clark Duncan gave a good performance for what he needed to do this total opposite it was a bad performance it was a shit casting choice visually and most of all the writing was atrocious you make him a fucking butt of all the jokes because the director thought he was doing some arc for Leon He's a butt of a joke, butt of a joke, butt of a joke, but he does one thing. I'm sorry, that wasn't enough. Because it's like an ending that's rushed. It's like an ending that would take 20 minutes, but it takes two minutes. We're doing this, 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 this. I mean, wait a minute, what? I almost got whiplash with the... It felt like this was a longer movie that got edited. It really does. It felt like huge chunks of the film are cut out. Piss poor editing and pacing in this. Literally one of the worst paced films I've seen in a long while. I'm not exaggerating. If you disagree, to each their own. But yeah, they're in the police station and Jill's like, What's the worst way to die? Even by a big snake or a shark? Oh, you mean the stuff we can't see because of your shitty budget? Oh, you'll give a hundred million to do Red Notice with The Rock and Ryan Reynolds, but Resident Evil, you do know that you could make a decent video game film. I've seen it. You know where I seen it? And you know what? It wasn't even like the game. It wasn't even like the game. Holy shit, balls of fire. I'll show you. This is his own fucking fall. There you go. This isn't like the game. 
It's like, oh man, it's not like the game. But, you know, this isn't like a 5 out of 5 star movie. But, it's a competent movie. They got the right attributes right. The sonic character. The design. Fixing it. So it doesn't look, it looks pretty good. The voice. The characteristics. Jim Carrey. The pacing. It was entertaining. It was fun. It was enjoyable. And guess what? It was a box office hit. Thus is the end of the sequel. And mostly got positive like fan reaction. For the most part. You can fucking do it. Don't give me that other shit. Or fuck, I mean, I know it's animated, but more combat Scorpion's Revenge. More combat. And I don't like the new Mortal Kombat that came out this year, the 2021 live action film. And Sal, I would say this is worse. And that movie had fucking coal of all... Coal. Fucking coal? Coal. You have a movie that has stupid fucking coal in it, and you still made a worse movie. Because at least coal was a new character, and who gives a fuck? Fuck, fuck the character. But this, you took established characters, you took a dump on them. Dump in a fucking ditch. So, Chief Irons is telling the team... We've lost contact. You gotta go to this mansion. And then Leon is in on the group, the meeting, and Chief Irons is just making fun of Leon. What are you doing here, huh? You need to get out of here. You're an idiot. You're a moron. Da, 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 da. And so while Brad, I mean, Brad, yeah, Brad, Jill, Chris, Wester, such. Richard, it was another character, they go off to the mansion. Leon, I don't know where the fuck all the cops are. Because at least in this, it explains why there's no cops around. Because when Leon gets there, the shit has already hit the fan. The city's already under siege. Thus they rush to the police station, and oh shit, there's no cops around because they're all dead. Or dying, or zombies. Here... The shit hasn't started yet. But yet there's no cops in this police station. To the point that Chief Iris goes, you're in charge. Why is Leon in charge? Where the fuck are all the other cops? And if you think you're going to see Leon and Claire go around the police station and go around and there's zombies and monsters anywhere around the police station. No. If you think you're going to see Mr. X... No. The tyrant? No. None of that shit. Again, Cliff Notes version, take out all the good parts. What the fuck? God damn it. <laughs> and even Chief Irons. Chief Irons in this game was kind of interesting. You know, f kind of, a, you know, campy. He was, Chief Irons was a guy that, in that game, that, he, the first time you see him, he has a dead woman on his desk. And he's trying to act innocent, oh, well, I killed this woman, and, no, he didn't say that. We know he did, but, he says to Claire, I found her like this, and one of those creatures killed her, and he's trying to act nice, but then you read notes realizing this motherfucker went around and hunted people because he, he lost his shit, he lost his mind. Everyone's going to die. And a great death in that game where there's a parasite and it fucking erupted and like half of this was like... Have you ever seen John Carpenter's Vampires, Speaker of Vampires, uh, when the, the, uh, the main vampire is killing James Wood's team? And the first guy, he like, and you see the guy, like a wishbone. That's how Chief Irons did it. Wish you could do that, Protocol, because John Carpenter's Vampires did it. Hell, you want to tell John Carpenter? Go some Mars. Because one of John Carpenter's worst is way better than this movie. 
So this director, oh, I want to be John Carpenter. You couldn't sniff his jock. If he was used. Fucking dick. I don't give a fuck. Fuck this guy. In all his holes. I'm tired of the shit. You had the chance. You haven't made. You could make a Resident Evil game that's like the games and faithful, but worth the shit. And you do every bad decision. And you wrote the shit too. So it, it is your fault. You fuck with. You fuck stain. The reason I get so pissed, I'm watching a scene where Leon is sleeping at the front desk with headphones on. I'll repeat this in case you. While Jennifer Page's song Crush is playing, and the guy, truck driver driving, flips the semi truck in bad CGI, walks into the fucking police station on in flames while, oh, I have a crush. It's, song is playing, and still Leon doesn't notice it, and Chief Iris has to shoot it. And Chief Iris isn't even a bad guy in this. Well, even in the remake, he was a bad. He's not even a bad guy in this. He's not a bad guy at all. So you took your character was kind of interesting. You just made him, huh, just a guy, just a, a a chief. But this guy is supposedly a big fan of these games. It does mean, did he play these fucking games or did he just watch a Cliff Notes version and let me steal that Easter egg and let me steal that scene? This guy can't fucking make me believe he played these games. Maybe he did it blindfolded. I don't know. Maybe he had a vibrator stuck up his ass while he's playing and he was more paying attention to that vibrator. I don't fucking know. I shouldn't fucking care. But Sally, I care too much. Hell, there's another point where Chief Irons is driving in the car. Some uh, military shoot at his car. And you know what song's playing on the soundtrack? Anywhere you want it, that's the way you need it. Everything you want it. That's the way you need it. What the fuck is the tone of this fucking movie? What is the tone of this? There's no flow to this movie. Except your bowels. Oh, the 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 team going to the mansion? They go in, they look around, there's zombies, some get killed, the pilot gets killed, crashes his helicopter, uh, Chris shooting at a couple zombies. In the midst of that, it'll cut back to the team arrives at the mansion, then cut to Chief Irons going back to the police garage. Over here, they would cut over here. There's no flow to it. Like the mansion stuff is like an afterthought. It truly is an afterthought. All the stuff in the mansion, the, again, the other varieties of creatures, the underground system. The tyrant, the shark, the snake. None of them is in it. So why the fuck did you put the mansion in here in the fucking first place? Why? What was the point? Other than you get some shots for your trailer. Oh, that's the mansion. This guy's playing a piano. And it opens the door like the original game. Just thank God they have that. All these other creatures we don't get. You know, Doom 2005, that's missing a lot of creatures. But they didn't try to combine Tomb, Doom 2, and Doom 3 at the same time. You had Carl Urban and The Rock doing a good job. You had a solid score, Clint Mansell, someone from Nine Inch Nails. You had... At least a more consistent tone. At least you had a story flowing through. And that has flaws. It needed more action. It needed more monsters. It takes a bit too slow to get going. But if I looked at it 
as a creature feature R-rated action film is actually rather entertaining. Especially the third act with the first person shooter sequence. You got Dredd himself, Carl Urban, Dwayne Johnson playing something different, a villain. Which is nice that he plays something unique because he, he plays the same fucking character nowadays. Oh, he did something unique. That was cool. I liked the Doom 2005. It's not like the game. Well, a little bit like Doom 3. You can't enjoy this on its own, let alone as a game. Like, the, if you compare it to the game, it'll piss you off. And as a movie on itself, it's poorly paced. It's, again, it's a rush job. There's no flow. It's garbage sci-fi channel CGI. Like, Chief Irons is fighting this uh, dog in a garage. The director, I'm going to make this scary. It's as scary as fucking a Jim Carrey movie. Well... I mean, it's the scares of fucking Teletubbies episode. I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of these people that say they're fans and they know what they're doing when they don't know jack squat of shit. Shut the fuck up. Go live by a fucking van down by the river. Jesus H. Christ. Garbage sci-fi channel CGI. And yet, a tiny bit of zombie scenes. I've seen directed, I have fucking Dead and Deader. This Dean Cain directed video zombie film was a better movie than this. This is pathetic. You barely get any action. You barely get any zombies. When Claire and Leon and Chief Irons are going through the police station, they go through a narrow hallway and a 10 second scene where Claire's shooting a couple zombies. And that's it. That's all you get at the police station. All those other rooms, all the other stuff. No. <laughs> Ada Wong is not in it unless you count after the credits. She makes a cameo. So again, you do an interpretation of Resident Evil 2. And Ada Wan's not even a part of it. But apparently there wasn't enough story. Well, yeah, if you cut out 80% of the story, there wouldn't be enough story. That's, you stupid fucking idiot. That, again, that kills me. Like, we don't combine both of them. There's not enough story. But you cut all the story out. No wonder there's no story. You dumb shit. There's no action. This is a forgettable fucking movie. How is it that you combine Resident Evil 1 and 2 and you made such a forgettable film? Such a nothing film. Again, 45 minutes. 45 minutes and not much fucking happened in the movie. Holy shitola. Again, okay, if I could go back, the first 45 minutes... Technically all that happened, Orphanage flashback, Trucker hit a, hit someone, Leon's an idiot, Leon's a moron, S means stupid, he let, he can wear ketchup bottles on his head sleeping and not notice. Chief sends the team to the mansion, semi-truck flips over and Leon's on his headphones. The team gets into the mansion. Claire is not even at the police station by this point. That's the first 45 minutes of this hour and 35 minute movie. It's boring. It's slow. I did the Claire Leon and Chief Irons escape. They go to the orphanage that was in Resident Evil 2 if you play the Claire scenario. And Chief Irons, again, they take away all of his character. They take away all of his motivation. They take away him being a villain. They even take away his cool death scene. He just gets killed by a liquor. And why is it that the effect in this film look better? And it's, two, it's 20 years old. 
Because I gotta admit, Paul W. Sanderson, as much as I make fun of him, is a be better director than this guy. Because at least Paul, at least he had Mortal Kombat in 1995, at least he had Event Horizon, at least he had Soldier, and even this movie is better directed than this shit. So, Paul, while Stanley Anderson, I think he's a joke now, but back then he actually made a couple decent movies. And this one, the way it's set up, the way that its story flows, the way its action scenes happen, even though it's fan fiction, it's, even the music, at least the music you have Marilyn Manson, I always thought the score in this was really good. This is better. Resident Evil. And it's a better creature feature sci-fi. And even the effects, 20 years later, they can't do better. <laughs> this fucking year sucks for movies, man. I'm going out of my fucking mind with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years later <coughs> you can't do better <coughs> you can't do better you can't do better you can't do better you can't do better <laughs> so there's one liquor in the movie just did you can't do better <laughs> 20 year old movie because that was 2002 so it's almost 20 years old fuck and the liquor you see as much of it in the trailer as it is in the movie and they don't even kill the liquor it's ready to kill Leon because Leon's a pussy a goofball joke and Lisa comes in and kills the the liquor because uh, I, I guess this director maybe had, I don't know, sexual fixations on Lisa Trevor. Maybe maybe that's what the director did. Maybe he played the Resident Evil 1 remake and when she came off, he jerked off. And when he shot his load, he had an epiphany. I need to put her in this and she's going to kill a liquor because she's a badass. Good, I'm glad you got your sexual for Maybe, you know, he's into S&M. He wants Lisa. Maybe he thinks of himself as a liquor. He wants to lick her, but he thinks it was a licker, an S and M bondage, but you know, oop, too far. I don't know. Maybe he's, maybe he's living his sexual fantasy out. I don't fucking know. I'm so fucking pissed. I'm so fucking because you had the opportunity to do this and you ruined it. Do you really think they're ever going to do a Resident Evil one game as a movie or two as a movie? Not that you had this bullshit and it fucked it up so royally. No, why would they? The bad reception it's going to have. The lack of box office it's going to have. And you don't even have the novelty. Of, oh, we haven't seen this in live action. Well, I guess you kind of have. <coughs> <coughs> and the director's probably patting himself on the ass. Which is why I'm going hardcore. Going ham. Hard as a motherfucker. I think a friend of mine said. This guy should be locked in the mansion. Until he learns how to direct a fucking movie. Write it too. And by this point. You don't even know really who the fuck Lisa is. Why she's allowed to wander around. Why is she wearing this fucking shit on her face. Why does she have teas? If she have teas and she knows, why don't she use the fucking teas? She's there to tell Litter and give Claire some fucking teas. To open up the secret thing in the orphanage and go down. Underground. Why the fuck didn't Lisa do it? Why is she just wandering around? Why don't you have her come with you? Do anything. Why did she, did she just wander around here for ten years? Or how the fuck long it's been? Why is she still alive? Why did they have her around? 
None of this explained. It's just there to say, remember, she was in the remake. Yeah, she's in the the remake of the first game in like three fucking scenes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know the one scene, at this one scene I didn't mind, is Chris Redfield in the dark. There are zombies, and he's shooting zombies, and we can only see by muzzle flashes. I know a lot of people disagree because, well, oh, it's hard to see. I like that idea. I like the idea you have to kill zombies and all we see are the muzzle flashes. I didn't mind the way that was filmed. And I think if you had a good version of a movie based on the first game, that's a scene I would not mind in it. They have a lot of weaponry because they're... In a way, I mean, they're kind of a SWAT team unit. And they're traversing through, finding more and more secrets. <clears throat> they made an entire fucking... House on a Haunted Hill remake. It's people trapped in a fucking mansion. Be like, well, we can't do that for a movie. Yeah, but you have all these monsters. You have all this build-up. You have to build up the characters like better movies did. Yes, you don't like the cornbread either. Yes, you can fucking. You can do it. You're just an idiot. Well, you haven't made any movies. That's right. You're right. I haven't made any shitty Resident Evil films, but this guy's made one shitty Resident Evil film. So I haven't lifted a finger, and I'm still doing better than this fucking guy. In fact, of the films of his I've seen, he's made no good movies, and the I've seen two movies of his. They were shit. So I'm zero zero, he's zero two. I still have a better batting average, and I didn't do shit. I didn't even lift my dick, didn't lift my finger. All I did was lift this fucking bottle of soda. And I'm still doing better. So fuck this guy. <clears throat> and oh, let's put in, uh, uh, just put in some reference to Code Veronica. Because... Leon and Claire, they look at this recording, they see the Ashford twins. So what? Ooh, reference. I'm surprised there's no fucking Lost Plagas in here. I'm surprised there's no fucking Lost Plagas. I'm surprised Chris doesn't punch a fucking boulder in this fucking movie. Without, yeah, do some references. Oh, you referenced Tolveran? Who did? They're watching the film as these two little kids pulling wings off a bug, and that was a film you could watch in the game Kovaraka to show how fucked up these twins are. So what? That's not going to tell people anything to the story. How about you say that in case you do a Kovaraka movie? But no. Reference. Jill, meanwhile, is with Wester. The, the helicopter crashes. Then Wester pretty much immediately tells her, oh, I'm a bad guy. Because you saved my life, so I'll tell you I'm a bad guy. Uh, then Jill saves Chris. Before that, that's when Wester played a piano. I don't remember how he found out you could play the piano. I guess he looked at something. Or he was told something. On his phone. Wester shoots Birkin. Neil Madonna. Uh, shoots Birkin's wife. Annette. Jill shoots Wester. Jill and Chris find the little girl Sherry. Who's a nothing character in this. She was actually a character. In this fucking game. To the point she even had. A fucking. Character bio. Find the fucking thing. Yeah, she had a fucking character bio. A lonely, insecure 12 year old. Sherry is quite mature for her age. She's very shy when she speaks. She lacks self confidence. Always has the feeling she is lost. Sherry's parents are too wrapped up in their work to heed the emotional needs of their child. There's more story in this fucking blurb than in this fucking movie of Sherry. Like, she's a nothing in this movie. She's a nothing. In that game, 
it's like the monster's looking for her because it's the father daughter, but also she has this little thing, uh, the virus, the anti. None of that is in this. There's no Ada. There's no Mr. X. There's no Tyrant that was at the end of the first Resident Evil. There's nothing of that. Nothing. I didn't. They say there's not enough story, but they took so much of it fucking out. That bottles my mind. There's none of the story, but you took all the story out. With garbage CGI, shitty casting, stupid terrorizations, making Leon a fucking goofball loser. Doing nothing. Oh, he shot like one zombie at the jail cell. That's it. Chris Redfield doesn't do anything. Birkin grabs him. You know, Madonna being mutated now grabs him. Claire shoots him. Not that it fucking matters because they run, they get on a train. Uh, Leon, Claire, Jill, Chris, Sherry. They were on the train. They were being rushed out. Then there's a monster. Then it grabs Claire because it wants Claire. And then Leon, he just found a rocket launcher because it was in first class. Shoots a rocket, gives reference, and then blows up the monster. And the monster looks like fucking PS2 graphics. It looks goofy as shit. Makes my nose itch because I'm allergic to this bullshit. Oh, that makes it all well. Leon had the last bit, so that makes all the other bullshit before well. No. And then they're going through the tunnel, and then I guess the town blows up, and then who knows what about all the other people in there, and then they walk out, and then boom, there's the title, and then if, if, after the end credits or something, Wester is alive, and he's blind, Ada gives him glasses, and there's Ada Wan. I, I just, the amount of shit that just... You don't ever get a look at the inside of the police station that much, except the front desk and the garage. All these other places you explore the police station, that's not in there. All this other stuff you explore with all the different creatures, they're not in it. The, the mansion. The mansion, all you did is a few corridors and the, the room with the piano. And yet, why did he even put the mansion in there in the first place? I keep answering my own fucking question for reference. <clears throat> the music sucks. The... <sighs> Other than the actress who plays Claire, I don't mind because I liked her in the movie Crawl. I mean, the, the, this movie's fucking garbage. Garbage in almost every iota. I have to literally say more, but it's been over an hour, and I, I, I just want to be done. I want to be done with this fucking review. Oh, you're over the top. You know what? Maybe we need more people saying over the top shit. To a director's face, going, no, this sucks. You suck. You should not have given this fucking hat the fucking job. I don't have enough money. I don't have the budget. Then don't do the fucking film. And wait until you get a budget. Hey Netflix, instead of doing you stupid fucking tooties, pedophile wet dreams, P to the E to the D to the O. Maybe put some money into a Resident Evil and hey, rework the script. Just do the first game and then this is successful. Then you do the second game. Work on your casting, work on your writing, get a better director and writer. Get some actual practical effects on creatures. Do it right. It's the field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. This is Netflix. If you get good word of mouth, wow, this movie's actually pretty good. People will hear it on the internet. Oh, wow, it's really good? Let me check this out. But after that trailer, why the fuck would people want to check it out? Except to laugh at. Or if it's a paid request. And I said, pretty much anything... If it's a paid request, I'll do it. I'm, I'm pretty open. Pretty much anything. But, uh... Damn, I didn't think I'd talk for an hour, but I did. I just... It's like, uh, Len Stefan in my basement.
I had to do it. I had to do it. This is just... It drives me off the fucking wall, man. Like, how, it's just these people that can't do shit. That just... <laughs> like, I said just just why just fucking why just fucking why it's not that bad it's not that fun it's not good at all in my opinion, it's just your opinion. No, of, course, of course it's my opinion. Who the fuck else is opinion I'm talking about? I would talk about my opinion. This is only me here. But I'm going to end it because I'm just lolly. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I just, I did. It, it should have been simple, man. It should have been fucking simple and it fucking wasn't. It fucking wasn't. But I'm, I'm kind of done. I don't want to talk about this movie anymore. This is... Uh, I would say right here. This is the second worst film I've seen this year. Because y you completely fucked up this fucking game. Well that's not true. I always had the game. Then fucked up the, the potential of this being a movie. You fucked it up. You fucked it up. And it still kills me that George Romero, back in the day, wanted to do a Resident Evil movie. Would not have been perfect. I'll, I'll do that. It would not have been perfect. But it would have been miles better than what the fuck I saw. It would have been a flawed movie. There's some issues I have with the script George Romero had. But you know what? It would have been much better than what the fuck I saw. And George Romero wasn't able to give a chance. And get the chance to do that. But this fucking hack was able to do this bullshit. And that pissed me off even more. Maybe I'll go watch Dawn of the Dead again. George Romero classic. My favorite zombie film. To get this out of my fucking brain. You want to see a good Resident Evil movie? Go watch the original Dawn of the Dead. Even the remake of Dawn of the Dead. Or Day of the Dead. Not so much the remake of Day of the Dead. Yeah, fuck this. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.